G'day viewers, today's job I'm out in Latham in the wheat belt, Western Australia. Um, spring, lots of flowers, lots of hay fever. But uh, I'm out here today to upgrade a Tesla off grid system that I built uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, this system works absolutely awesome. It's got a backup generator around the corner. Uh, we've got about seven kilowatts of solar PV on the roof and we've got two Tesla power walls and because they are phasing out the power wall too we're adding in another one because once they're completely phased out we can't get them anymore so I've contacted Tesla giving them a heads up that uh, I'm adding a third battery um, because they need to do a firmware upgrade on the gateway and um, I'll be using a stacking kit this is this part here and that goes in between the two batteries and allows me to stack them one in front of the other and uh, that should see them right for their storage needs they can upgrade their PV if they need to at a later stage and um, with all my off-grid systems as I do I've got a, um, a trickle charger a Victron trickle charger here for the um, starter battery on the generator which is a Kubota low boy. Oh shit, cat scared the crap out of me. Um, which I believe is around here. I oh, don't believe, I know it's around here. I connected the bloody thing. It's in the shed there. So that rarely runs, but that is their backup generator. Tucked away in there. There it is, awesome little generator, 9 kVA, and uh, got the solar up on the roof there. So there we go, nice little Tesla off-grid system, and uh, this system works absolutely awesome. Um, with the Tesla off-grid systems, it was really important that um, they were set up correctly and uh, this one has all been set up correctly. It's a shame Tesla don't support the off-grid setup anymore. Um, I know there's a few haters out there, but when they are set up correctly, they, uh, they're they fantastic. They work really good, as this one does. So uh, I'll get on with that, and I'll show you a quick little video once it's done. That's not ideal. Just going to take the side cover off this existing one. And there is a ant's nest in here. So that is not good. Need to get rid of that for sure. Definitely do not want the ants getting inside the system that will void their warranty. Uh, so we need to address that. Hopefully not. They're, they're not in this cover. It is generally all sealed, so they should be right. But um, there is an inverter and everything behind there. We don't want the ants in there. Bit of a problem in Australia, the old ants. Right, I'll sort this one out. Righto, that's uh, that one's all done now. We've got the third battery in. That's the stacking kit I was talking about. Um, they're meant to have little covers on them, but I'm missing them. I only had two. I don't know if I've kicked them somewhere or what, but I only had two. That's how they're meant to be. Um, couldn't conceal this conduit, unfortunately, because that one's been... Uh, got the cable entry in the back there. You can see in the gap. Um, but yeah, that's fine. It's all good. So that's all up and running. The fan is going at the moment. That's just going through its test process and doing firmware updates and all that and cycling the coolant inside the battery. And um, that's all up and running. Should have been an easy job. The ants made it quite challenging. There's not many left now, but there was hundreds of them and they were everywhere. And um, my persistence to use conduit through this channeling 
by myself was uh, probably took me more time than anything else, any other task I had to do. So this is how I do my systems. I use a cabinet. I take these two tech screws out and this just opens up on hinges. That way everything's concealed. It's all compliant and it's nice and neat. So I might be back one day to put some more solar on, but um, for now, oh, I've got to put a label on there. For now, that's all done. So time to pack up and drive home. Righto, catch ya. <laughs>